Bonjour, good morning my beautiful Rose Garden. So today I just came from the the Whole Foods store and I decided I'm gonna show you all what I get for my household. So I had to do a quick run of wholesome goodness, nature finest. So I just wanted to show you, you know, the variety of veggies that I use and some of the fruits because you all trust me when I tell you eating healthy have never never tasted so good it's like I am a whole new person I feel good mentally physically psychologically this is just amazing to just eat right still delicious and not because you're the thing is not because you're eating healthy that means you have to be boring eating healthy doesn't have to be boring you know you can incorporate all your favorite spices that you want in your healthy eating so don't think that oh my god I have to eat veggies so, uh, uh, make it work for you jazz it up like you do everything else so I know you guys are queens and kings so I know you know how to jazz things up so that's it just make it fit your style of living while you eating healthy at the same time so come along I'm gonna show you all my groceries so I went to um, Sprout Supermarket and um, I'm just going to show you all what I got from Sprout Farmer's Market, okay? Stay tuned. You're not going to spend so much money. Better you spend a little bit more and eat healthier than you buy crap and then in the long run you suffer, okay? So this is all the items I bought. This is the bags here and I'm going to show you everything that's composed of this amount that I've spent. So here One we more go. thing. So if anyone here want me to give a video of, you know, the items that I'm picking up as I'm in the store, I will do that as well because I'm planning to do that so you guys can see what to shop for, what to look for, the better items, you know, so, you know, you can feel better going in there and knowing what to, you know, get instead of just feeling lost and confused you know because your first time you're gonna see so much stuff and you're gonna be like oh my gosh what do I get you know you just have to get things that fit your style of living your style of eating while you're on this journey just start small so with that being said I just you know want to make sure that when you guys go out that you guys are ready you know like hey I know what I'm getting I'm not gonna be confused if you want to try something new that's fine too but yeah just yeah you guys got this we got it together <laughs> okay Like a, <laughs> they, to me, they kind of rem 
remind me of a small, me of a miniature, like kind of like a deformed eggplant majana, eggplant. And you know, but they're really good and sweet. Just make sure you wash, wash, wash them always. But yeah, they're so delish. I have the avocados here. They are so good as well. I put them as garnish, put them on whatever I want actually. And I have my thyme. I don't favor these ones as much as they are on the wild side, but they still somewhat do the job. I prefer the thicker ones, depending on the dish that I'm making. And here, uh oh, my thing fell. I have our cilantro, fresh cilantro. And of course, we have asparagus here. And this is my next favorite baby. Oh my gosh, I never thought I'd be so happy about veggies. That is crazy. Like a year ago, I wasn't like eating any of this. I am so happy with my new journey I'm on. And these are one of my favorite favorites. They're so pretty, they're delish. They don't take long to cook. OMG, these are organic, sweet baby broccoli. Oh, and I bought two of them because I love them so much. And next on my list, I have here. Who can tell me what this is? Well, this is the golden beets. I use both of them. I, I use the red, which is purple to me. But I use both. So I didn't get that many because it's so strong. And be careful when you're using them because they stain. So make sure you wash, wash whatever surface you use your cutting board. Wash it as soon as you're finished. I don't get as much because it's like I said, it's so powerful. Whatever you put in, it's gonna take over. So you don't need a whole lot. Unless you're gonna do a whole lot of stuff. Next on my list is my baby bellas. These go very good with like creamy dishes. Creamy, creamy, creamy. Oh my gosh, they're so delish. Fish dishes, chicken dishes. I'm gonna show you some. You're gonna be amazed at the things you can do with, with, with baby bellas. And what I like about these is like they're from like on family farm so it's kind of like locally um harvest and farm and i like that support upcoming small business until they can properly support themselves next i have my organic julian carrots which i got like four three bags probably more because i love love just putting them in almost everything my salad i eat them on the go they're so delish and next i have Kale. And this is chopped. I normally chop my own, but I didn't want to go through that today. And this says triple wash premium green. However, even though it says triple wash, please, please, could drupal wash. Could drupal, drupal, drupal wash because there's always something there. Remember, I told you soak your stuff in um, warm water with salt kill any excess anything okay and here i have my turn it around i have my green onions spring onions my scallions oh my gosh now these are my one of my favorite 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 garnishes i put them on all my my saucy dishes like my jerk dishes, my barbecue dishes, my rice and bean dishes, my curry chicken dishes. These are amazing, you all. And of course, not to mention the stir fries or fry rice dishes. And this here is my organic. And this is five pound of organic carrots. Oh my gosh, they're not so big. I love that you can see that they didn't have any additives and all that stuff added because they're so small and you could just peel it shave it and just like eat it just like this like a carrot stick snack you don't even have to like go through all the excess stuff but i use this to make juices and a variety of different things so yeah like in my dishes i cut them real small depending on what i'm making i cut differently so my next baby oh, i love kale guys oh my gosh kale is one of my favorite veg kale so this is the organic, of course, and this is the red kale. It looks purple though, the stem, this nice pretty color going on, looks kind of like blue on my screen. 
like a midnight blue or something but it's look purple of course and this is also called red kale as I said previously and of course my fresh 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 curly parsley I do like the flat leaf ones also however I do love like the um, the curly leaf fancy leaf whatever they call them I love them love them love them love them they just give you a nicer prettier green look depending on what you're doing and I just want to show you guys something see I just came from the farmers market as you can see there's a little friend there's a little friend right there so that's what I'm always telling you all make sure you're washing 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 before you you know just put them on and go and this is garnish so some people just chop chop and go or just running under the water one time and not paying attention so please you all please make sure that you're washing these good check for little pretty okay and next is my baby my baby everything is my baby oh god i'm so excited but <laughs> red cabbage here this is a big one i got because i use it a lot i use it in um some, one of the base item in my multi veggie um dish and here is my radicini another form of cabbage it's like feel like the regular cabbage but it's just a little softer yeah but it's harder than a lettuce so in between there i'm gonna show you all what i do with this baby you guys are gonna be amazed and this is my fancy cabbage yes i like to switch it up and just get the regular one because it's gonna look so pretty and i'm gonna use it as pretty garnish and eat it at the same time yeah 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 so you all that concludes my shop oh i almost forgot yeah and these are <laughs> micro broccoli oh my gosh guys these are used for salads you can put them on your fish dishes chicken dishes rinse them and eat them as is put in your smoothie you can't go wrong oh um yeah let me see if I, i'm gonna open it and show it open see another friendly i'm telling y'all y'all gotta make sure y'all wash these stuff from these farmers market because if it's organic it wasn't sprayed so yeah so there you have it there you have it i'm gonna of course soak it in water not water but i just want to show y'all what it looks like and i have two of these yes 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 you could make a nice salad mix it's oh, just man. the micro rainbow one just got more prettier stuff i'm gonna show you what's in it so you can see i can remember everything that's in it but so i'm going to show you the see how it says there wash before consuming see i'm not telling nothing crazy say it on the back that's the first thing well second look y'all those are what's in there okay and what's missing okay here and another salad blend broccoli cloves radish sprouts and that's what that looks like you gotta consume these quickly because um bean sprouts any form of sprouts they spoil or let's just go back very quickly so make sure you, as you get these you're using these babies we are not wasting money okay all righty all right That concludes our farmer's market shopping today. So, um, you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. And as always, please like, 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 share with someone. Show them what's going on in the family. Show them what the Rose Garden is about. And actually subscribe. Subscribe for upcoming recipes. You won't, won't be disappointed. So, Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. See you all in my next recipe video. Au revoir. A bientôt. Bye. <laughs>